Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Sister here bringing us a video here today. Bring you guys a Photoshop tutorial on creation on very own cool. We're going with like gaming 3D um text effect. This is basically the uh, an improved version of the old improved version uh video that we did like a couple months ago or whatnot. It's uh, definitely more than a couple months, but you guys know what I mean. Um also yeah, I am sick. Like ugh. I don't know, dude. Anyway, um, so yeah, this version here though is an improved version as well as also show you guys how to make a cool pre-made of it and make it super, super, super easy, super simple, one click kind of thing to actually go ahead and create very cool text effects the same exact way, but in different styles and fonts, sizes, whatever. So in this case here, you guys see what this text effect looks like right now. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. I'll just make it a little bit bigger for you guys so you can see, right? Super, super nice, super clean. And if I just simply just go into the smart object, so this is not using any 3D plugins, it's not using anything like, like of that sort. Um, I can just go ahead, <laughs> we'll change it to like this one right here, and then we'll change it to 100K because, you know, we're, we're a part of that crew now. Um, just like so. So once you guys save it here, also, as you guys can see, I actually have a warp on as well. So if you guys want to put a warp on too, that is very doable. Um, doable, there we go. And if I just press Control S on the keyboard, which is basically saving this document right here, Right? When you save this inside that sub um, smart object layer, you're gonna go ahead and go back into your main layer, and you'll see that it also changes here too with all the different effects that you guys have on it. So it's very super, it's super freaking handy. I can guarantee you guys are gonna super love it. Um, it also makes it way easier for me to give you guys basically a tune like um, goal for the actual text effect videos, because usually I kind of like don't know what to give you guys, but this time I know exactly what I can give you guys, the actual preset. So with that being said, let's go and get this thing going. Two links on the video equals a secret down below. And as always guys, let's, go, let's just get this thing started because um, yeah, I got strep. Oh wait, oh crap. How did I almost forget, dude? It was on my lap the entire time. Merch went live. So this is the back of it, by the way. See, this is $38, okay? Right, and this is the front. So this, uh, this only comes with uh, the black version. The black version of the hoodie is only this version here. The front, so I suck. Oh my god. Can you guys even see that? There you go. <laughs> so you have the black hoodie version and also the white um, exclusive sort of long sleeve version and then the sort of, I'll wear that next clip just so you guys know, so you guys aren't freaked out. Um, the white sweater, you'll see it long sleeve version and then the uh, different colors you can get in a, a regular t-shirt. So with that being said, if you guys want to purchase those, let me know. Maybe you want to tweet them out at me and be like, yo, says I got one. I appreciate you forever, of course. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, we're going to get this thing going. So what I ended up doing was I copied and pasted every single, uh, how do you say, uh, layer style style. So what I'm going to end up doing is show you guys the exact same presets, uh, strokes, glows, all that stuff. So that way you guys can see exactly how it's actually created. And I'll just kind of step by step go through what they ended up doing and what you can, of course, change in the meantime. Um, when it comes to color correction, I'm going to be using the same exact color scheme as, I'm, as you guys see in this video here right now. Uh, also, by the way, if I just put a grayscale for a second, which is a simple gradient. You can find out a very simple way, like say you're done with it, if you guys follow the exact same method that I'm going to show you guys right in a second. Um, changing it to a grayscale, which either just putting on a, gra a gradient map on or whatever, um, can really help you guys understand where you might want to colorize things and really help you maybe understand what you would want to do for your color scheme. Um, but keep in mind, of course, everything I'm going to be showing you guys today, just make sure you guys, of course, kind of, if you guys are going for a different color scheme, well, obviously, just maybe uh, keep it around the same sort of like hue points. So if I say something's around here and it's red, or or in this case, it's going to be orange, um, what I end up saying is make sure you probably keep it around this sort of, um, this little hue sort of darkness and light value, and just move the actual hue and saturation um, bar up and down. Maybe that'll help you guys. Um, okay, so. <clears throat> so. I'm gonna start off with making a text. So this text here, this first text, doesn't really matter because as you guys can obviously tell, uh, it's basically what you can go ahead and change when you have a smart object. So in order to uh, apply that, let me just go ahead and just group all this together for a second. Okay, and we're just gonna go ahead, we're just gonna call this effect, okay? We're gonna make this pretty big. Okay, I'm gonna header document size, so I'm making it fairly big. Okay, we're gonna change the actual effect for now or the, the font for now and change it to something like motion control, it's pretty good. Okay, and so to get this thing started, what the first thing you want to make sure you do is when you have your text, you simply right click on the text just like so and make it into a smart object. So convert to a smart object just like this. And this is basically the entire sort of tutorial in one little second. Um, Cause this allows you to do is basically when you put all your different layer styles on this, I'm the first thing I'm gonna put on is this one here. So this first layer style right here um, gets changed very easily. All you have to do is just double click on this little page. Um, when you double click on this, this uh, opens up the smart objects uh, layer, as you can see right here, right? So if I just click on it, 
and change it. Also, before you want to change it, you guys see it only shows what's in this sort of white box. So if you guys want to take the crop tool, which is C on your keyboard, take this bottom left corner here, hold Alt and just simply just drag it out, just like so. It'll give you more space to work with, and all. So if any other font kind of like extends in different directions, um, that'll help you guys out in that uh, that sense there. But I can just change this now. <laughs> Let's just change it to something like sabers or for whatever, right? If I need to shrink it down, I could shrink it down as well, right? And all I have to do is right, uh, right click, or not right click, but Control S on your keyboard and or file save, right? Save this in the document, open it up here, and now that same as that text effect, uh, text effect that you put on from the beginning is now here too. So that's exactly the whole little method and little trick about it, uh, which makes your text effects way easier to produce and also to do them correctly every single time and also, I guess, keep them consistent. So I'm gonna end up doing is just going back over here, closing that down. <laughs> okay, so the first things on the effects are these strokes. As you see, I do have a stroke on. This is a inside or outside stroke, excuse me. It's an outside stroke, and the gradients that I have here are these very cool sort of like yellowish uh, hued, um, it's not pure white. I was gonna make it pure white, but at the same time, I wanted more of like a color scheme to kind of work with and have it tightly put together. So if you guys want to just run through these really quickly, this first code scheme that I have here is hex code E9C, E A four. So like I said we're up before, right? If you guys are not using yellow, let's say you're using like uh, red or something like that, just drag this up to red. Maybe use this little hue over here to make sure you can get that really cool sort of pinkish or uh, excuse me, um, white offset color, right? Um, right here, the second one here is hex code E C C F A A. Cancel, and then the second, uh, the third one here is hex code F eight D A nine one. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is hurting my throat. <laughs> uh, sec uh, this fourth one here is E8D07E, and this fourth one here, that's five. Okay. All right, so English is hard and numbers are hard now, okay? Uh, hex code F1E9CB, okay? So all these hex codes here, you just kind of copy and paste those if you guys choose to. And then maybe, like I said before, just change the hue bar over here, just kind of change it up and mix uh, mix it all around. But as you guys can tell, these little uh, parts right here, I don't know if you guys can see them as easily because they're very closely knit colors. But in these areas right here, right, you can see a very quick shift of colors or or it's not as great uh, gradual as you can see. If I just change this right here, let me just show you guys. Click this. You see how my midpoint here is very, very close to the left. If I just drag this over, if I can get it, I can't quite get this one. Let me delete that. I can't click on this midpoint here. But I'll click on this one for now, right? And I'm just gonna change this color for now, and so you can see it to like a blue, so you can see what this is doing. If I change this midpoint and move it close to my blue, it's gonna make a very, very skinny bar of blue. So whichever in between one of these, it doesn't really matter quite literally. But take the midpoint and just squeeze it very, very close to the one side. Um, this is too much blue. So in my sense here, if you were, you have a uh, excuse me. I would say the fourth one here, as you can see, I did my, I did it between the fourth and fifth uh, bar here. Um, I'm keep this in the middle. I also did it between the second and the third one here. I moved it towards the right a little bit more, right? I don't know if you can tell because the colors are very, very shifting, but as you guys saw the first example, the blue, right? If I just move it super close to that blue, whichever kind of color has a, a higher um, saturation color, which is that more of that yellow, not that more of that light, lighter sort of offset white yellow, um, move that one closer so you get this really cool sort of like very sharp line of color and it kind of just gives the effect a little bit more of like a shiny sort of metallic-y kind of feel in that direction. Um, we also have an inner shadow here. Now this inner shadow here I have it on Blood Mode simply normal, right? The reason why I have it on normal is because we just want to choose a really nice dark color and we don't need to have it be on multiply for us to do that. So if I had just have like a simple old red or I can just change it to orange, but orange was a little bit too sort of like it didn't give enough uh, contrast between, the, of course, showing that it was indented in a way or or that there was some sort of like depth going on there. Um, so making it pure red kind of just made it sure that, hey, the red comments the orange in the background, the, uh, the yellow in the actual foreground of the text. It looks really good. So we ended up doing that with distance at three, choke at zero and size at six and then my noise at zero percent. Um, simply over here is the inner glow here. I have on simply overlay. 100% uh, opacity and the color is white simply because I just wanted to make sure that it glowed more So if I just took this off for a second you would see the uh, the red a lot lot more But since it's also an inner shot glow on here It also kind of provides like an almost like an orangey tint because of that overlay in the inner glow So that's kind of how it happened there and then lastly is a more of a um, <coughs> Excuse me a personal preference right if I just zoom out really quickly right you can see the pattern overlay as well So I have this here if you guys don't have the pattern pack 
Um, this is the $2 one of my cell phone. Simple, quick little selfless plug or shameless plug. Um, Ceso HQ or <laughs> low. Um, Selfie.com slash Ceso HQ. Uh, you'll get the $2. I think it's like a called a pattern pack or something like that. Um, it's very, very dope. I'll put it in the description for you guys if I didn't just let it remind me or something like that. But these uh, sort of like ones right here. If I just kind of scroll through them and put it 100%. Right, you can kind of see it just adds a little bit more texture. I love how it looked, and I kind of just want to say, Hey, I'm gonna run with it. I put it on around 65 or so, lower the opacity down so it's not super bright, and uh, that's what I went for. So, that would be the first actual sort of like little part of this video, which is getting that really start that initial sort of like foreground plate for the actual text effect. So, the second one here is gonna simply just take this, hold alt, drag this layer below this layer, and I'll make a duplicate. So, if you didn't want to do that, you can just simply press control J in your keyboard. Move the copy below that first one, and we're just gonna call this number two, right? We're gonna call this one main, main, right? And then number two is the second copy, right? All right, there we go. Cool. So on the second one here, I have this second little style here, which happens to be this right here. So this one is more of a complementing sort of a uh, to this first to the first one. It's really only basically a stroke, um, and also a little bit of a drop shadow to kind of I guess how you say house or sort of like peel. The bit of that, um, let me just show you with this one right here, right? Oh, where does it go? Here it is. You see how this like little drop shadow kind of looks like it's peeling off the actual um, the text effect a little bit. Kind of looks like it's kind of like it just gives it a more of a depth feeling in that opinion, in my opinion, excuse me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this back on. So you can see that's what that uh, is providing for us. And for this right here, I have on bevel and boss, which I also do not believe has to be on in this case here. I do think I got, I got turned on. Uh, it got turned on on accident, but stroke here, right? Uh, size 10, opacity at 100%, and I changed my fill type from normal color to gradient. So this one here is just using like a really cool simple gradient, almost in the same exact positions as my first one. So if you guys just kind of see where my midpoints are, and if you guys get my sort of color corrections as well, you guys will get the same as I think I have here. So the midpoints are um, these little things here. Uh, dude, sorry, my like throat is killing me, and it's getting really hard to like talk and like swallow you know what i mean like jesus okay so these little white little uh triangles diamonds here um are the midpoints right so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and just like i'm just gonna go through all these really quick so you can see where they are and uh the heck code is gonna run by these they're right here fcc236 for the uh the yellow that i'm using right here and the orange is uh fd a b 37 and then the third one here is uh f58 f32 Fourth one, FBBC36, and then DE802D. Cool. So if you guys run through those and move the uh, little bar right here, you can see the different tones. So if you guys want a blue, simply just say, hey, I'm going to move all these and just move them toward blue. Okay. I'm just going to go through this so you can just see exactly how you would do it. Um, probably get around the same exact tones, a little bit close to them, uh, but just kind of give them all to that blue little hue. And then, of course, you have to change the, 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 the actual te text to blue as well to make it look good. But that's what I mean by just simply changing the hue bar. Make sure you keep exact where the, uh, maybe where the, um, the original sort of uh, hue dot was, right? And then lastly, a drop shadow. So the uh, distance here is 12. Only reason why it's 12 is because it's the first, it's sort of like using not the stroke. So you can see right here, if I zoom in really quickly, it's not right here where the actual drop shadow starts. It's right here because this is where the original actual text is. So I have that distance a little bit coming out a little bit further at an angle of 120 or 110, excuse me. Uh, distance is 12, spread at one, size at four. And then simply enough, that is the second version here. And the third copy here, I'm just gonna take this, right? Copy the same exact thing, because we wanna make sure you're, if we're using the same exact smart object, of course, if I change one text, all the layers are gonna be changed when I uh, double click on in any one of these little um, pages here. So the third one here, excuse me, is going to be this one here. Cool, cool. So this one helps sort of enclose all of that sort of uh, very high kind of like very bright. I guess you would say, uh, I guess how do you say bright saturations like the yellows are super super bright and whatnot. If you're using a different color uh, scheme, whatever you do is this third version here is gonna be your darkest stroke. Okay, it's gonna be your your most sort of like darkish kind of uh, tone. Um, it also has a bit of a more drop shadow to kind of house and kind of really peel off and or give that text an, uh, an honest sort of like, you know, uh, protrusion? Why am I trying to use that word? It just makes it look like it's 3D, okay? Okay, cool. So, this here, 
Of course, like I said, there's another stroke, and the color for this one here is the same exact placements, almost, kind of, not really, but we're still using five little uh, dots here. My midpoints are kind of like close to this one uh, side here. This one's in the middle, this is in the middle. So what I'm really, only really changing is this one here. And this hex code is 9B3115, <clears throat> uh, 9B3E15, uh, BB3411, 9B3115, and then the fifth one here, the last one is 9C3115. I believe that's one of the same ones from the other one. Um, also, I'm super curious, how many of you guys actually use my hex codes? I don't know where and when it started being a thing in my videos where I actually say the color schemes that I use. I know it's probably helpful for some of you guys. I'm just super curious to how many of you guys. So if you guys are into this part of the video, let me know, like, maybe, like, you use them? Like, do you honestly? I personally do not know. I'm gonna, I'm always gonna say it no matter what. I'm just super curious. Um, so the drop shadow here is actually black, okay? And the distance is 25, spread zero, size 40, because we want it to be a nice sort of bigger drop shadow, of course, right? And we're gonna press okay. <laughs> and the last one here is just that nice little final touch. I'm gonna double click on this, go to my styles here, go to here. So this one here is your second darkest. So this is the darker one. I did say that was the darkest one was the third one. Um, your third one's the, the darkest so far. And your fourth one, that's the darkest, darkest one, okay? So that's the one that's gonna really just close it all together and make it look super, super nice. And uh, the drop shot that we put on this third one here just makes this little part right here looks really, really cool. Uh, it just gives that really nice little feel to it. Kind of just feels almost like there's like a shadow here, which is kind of like saying there's a little bit of that 3D piece layer, which like is kind of like insinuating in that way you guys can make it really look really 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 good so all i have here is just a bigger stroke than all the ones before so stroke size 21 and the same exact colors here but just a little more darker from the hex codes that i gave you guys in the previous second um or the third uh layer there right but if you guys really wanted to if i'm just going to quickly try and see if i can do it on um uh, tutorial now i don't really have it set in my brain how i'm going to do it but if i just take another one here right let's just say i take this here and I say I want to make sure it's a little more closer to this color here. We'll say, okay, that's okay. All right, I'm going to take this midpoint, move it really close to this orange here. Okay, now move it closer towards, we'll move it closer toward, let's cancel that one. Let's go here. Okay, let's go here. Let's take the yellow and say we want to move it really close there. So we want a really nice little yellow strip, maybe, right? And it makes it almost look like it's almost like a metallic in a way. I'm going to take this color here. Maybe go with like a little bit of this color like right there. But if you guys did this sort of like thing throughout the way, you guys see this little, it's almost looks like it's metallic. I'll do it one more time, like a little bit more farther up. So I'm gonna say like right here, right? Take these yellow points, move them in, these midpoints, excuse me. Move that one in. And you can kind of see hopefully what it's looking like. I'm gonna take this color here again. Uh, something like that. Okay. Spread it up a little bit maybe. Okay, okay. Right, it almost gives that bit of a of a metal sort of like reflection esque look, and that's exactly what you guys can do if you guys want to choose a different color scheme. Of course, it's whatever. You guys can go with a really cool gray uh, scheme color scheme, just simply moving it to like a nice little blue over here, and then moving toward the gray areas over here. Get this really really nice blue. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys. Right, I'm just gonna give you guys more ideas on how to actually work it because I know it's a little bit difficult if you're like new to Photoshop and all that stuff, but kind of giving you guys a little insights of just kind of like literally having fun and just moving the same color around just like so right you can go with a nice little blue color scheme if you guys had that of course stroke from before blue it looked really really nice so anyway though that is the fourth one here which is that same style i gave you guys before number four just like so cool and then all basically you have to do is just group this together and just call this your text effect okay and then when you're done all right when you're done, all you have to do is just click on any any of this little um any four any four of these layers. I right, let's click on the main one just for the sake of it. Just double click on the page here. You want to click over here, like I said before, senior keyboard, hold Alt, make this bit a bit bigger so you guys can just use whatever font you want without having any trouble, right? Take your uh we're just gonna go with like let's go with primal's a pretty good one. I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit, right? Okay. Shrink it down, maybe I'll move the VA a little bit as well. Maybe I'll say, hey, I wanna put a little bit of a warp on it, so I'm gonna click Control T to free transform it, right? And then click this little warp tool. And then on the left-hand side here, I'm just gonna to go to maybe where it says lower arch. I'll say, hey, I wanna give it a lower arch, press OK, file, save, or Control S, go back over here, and then hey, there you guys go. You have your freely 
uh, new edited perfect text effects. So you guys make a perfect text effects for yourselves, for maybe like your Fortnite, you know, PUBG or whatever, little headers, gaming headers, right? Um, or even stream, um, how do you say your stream packages and stuff, your, what it says, the word offline or be right back and like cool stuff. You know how you used to usually have to do those text effects multiple times? All you have to do is just change it up once and you're good to go. And uh, so yeah, that's the video here today. Um, hope you guys enjoy as always guys. My voice is literally killing me to the point where I feel like I'm about to cry. Um, you can see, you can probably see how much I'm struggling by the, the watery eyes that I have. Um, but hopefully I didn't really show it. I'm, I'm still high energy. Your boy's just like, I just get sick every once in a while. I have no idea now. Um, but yeah, next week I'm in, gonna be in LA. Uh, hopefully I'll make a video. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I know I'm gonna get my internet over there very soon. Um, like hopefully like two two days before I'm even there uh, should be installed and all that cool stuff But I'm just trying to like think mentally if this is the last video in this room, okay future sets if you're watching this, bro You're gonna kill it in your new area. Okay, you're gonna fucking kill it. Um, yep Anyway, guys guys merch in the description down below. Oh, this this is uh, that's awkward <laughs> uh, Merch description down below as you guys saw before these are 38 um, the long sleeves are 25 and the short sleeves I believe are also 25 or something like that um, but yeah, talk to you guys later. So that's some HQ out. Do not, keep, uh, do not forget to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. But uh, your boy's gonna like gonna do one of those um, do as I say, not as I do as I say, not as I preach. What? How does that shit go? I, you know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll be productive afterwards. <laughs> talk to you guys later. So that's you out. Peace. Yeah. Later. Um, I'm what? <laughs> do as I say. Not as I do. That's what it is. Fuck. Okay, we're good. <laughs>